Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we've got some nice posts today. I've got a envelope, an envelope, I should say, with a reconstruction in it. I'll let you guess what artifact this is. You're probably wondering why would you order this? Well, I'm actually completing my global set of reconstructions I already have, but as you can see, this one is pretty much off-centered. So I ordered a new one and hopefully the centering is better. It's always kind of a guess. Usually I don't mind it too much because I mean, look at the card, it's still in very good condition. But when you're finishing a set, you know, you want things to look as good as they can, especially with a card that's not that expensive. So I'd rather have it centered. So anyway, that's in this envelope and more because when you're, you know, buying penny cards, you usually add some extra uh, purchases, right? To the, uh, to the buy. But I also have this package. Uh, I don't know what's in here. It's a surprise. It's from Belgium. I believe paid that this comes from you from Genk. So I think I'm just going to open this up first. I just got to get my scissors. Damn. I wonder what's in here. When I, when I shake it, I don't hear anything. So I know you sent me a t-shirt not too long ago. So maybe this is t-shirt number two. <laughs> I can have a complete Timmy talks outfit. Who knows? Let's first just try to open this up. There we go. Okay, so now this part is open. Yeah, now this is opening up nicely. I, I do feel I'm getting better at this. You know, let me know in the comments below if you agree. I mean, especially at the start, it just took me ages and yeah, after like two years of opening packages, I'm getting better. It's, that's good to know. Okay, so there we go. Interesting. No, 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 no. We still don't know what it is. We've got a letter here. So we're first going to look at the letter. Turn it around. Going to keep the suspense. Just going to have a look if there's no address on here. Nope. Okay. Hi, Timmy, a thank you token for the fun and exciting videos. I hope you like what's in the box. If you have it twice, you can definitely trade or sell it. What's in the box now? Petra, alvast and vrolijk pasi. It's almost Easter here. Maybe when I upload this video, it's already Easter. Um, What's in the box? Maybe I already have it. I don't know. Um, Could it be some kind of Timmy? Maybe... An alternate fourth edition Timmy could be the case, maybe. Or could it be like some token from Fallen Empires? Because I'm, you know, I'm a huge Fallen Empires fan. But anyway, let's let's open it up. Exciting stuff. What could it be? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know this one. <laughs> I do, Petra. This is the book. Let me just take it out of uh, the bubble wrap. This is quite nice. This is really nice. I I, I do read these, uh, Petra. And I, I read this one, actually. And I have to be honest, it's not... I mean, it's fun to read if you're into magic, but it's not that good of a novel. Other novels are quite good. Brothers War is really good. Um, but also, the there's a trilogy with... A green wizard called Green Sleeves. That those books are really, really good, especially the first one. Um, but yeah, here we go. Wow, and it's in really nice condition as well. By the way, wow, this is a much better condition than my copy. Really nice. Magic: The Gathering, The Prodigal Sorcerer by Mark Summer. When peace is the prize, what price is too high? Yeah, and this is actually supposed to be the Prodigal Sorcerer. This is the Timmy. He does act a little bit like the Timmy. He basically gets high that's basically what happens anyway <laughs> you just have to read the book especially the like the, the plot and how it develops doesn't make sense because he's presented as this very wise wizard and then he doesn't really act like one anyway um you know what i'm just going to read you the blurb um for centuries the mage wall has isolated a battle torn valley there three races live in perpetual uh, strife, fueled by prejudice and fear. The Fashino hate the Garan. The Garan loathe the humans, and the humans despise them all. 
But a new day is dawning. Tegger Turngold, a human leader, has a plan that could bring harmony to his war-ravaged re- home and has enlisted the aid of Elegrius, a sorcerer from the Institute of Arcane Studies. In his effort, peace may be on the horizon at last. But the terrible price of Taggart's peace may be more than his people can pay, the prodigal sorcerer. Yeah, really cool. And, and again, a Harper Prism print. I just, those were the days. I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to get the book that I'm reading right now. It's on my nightstand. Just give me a sec. I'll, I'll be right back. It's a really good book. So I'm actually wondering, um, Petra, where you found this book? Because I actually had to order them, um, some of them uh, from the States, which as you can imagine was quite a thing, also with shipping, quite costly. So here, look at look at the state of this book. But these series, this is the last one in a series of three. This is Final Sacrifice. But these book by, books by Clayton Emery, they're quite good. Like I said, especially the first one. Um, what was it called again? Something with woods. Let's see if it's in here. Okay, yeah. The Whispering Woods and then Shattered Chains and then you have Final Sacrifice, right? So here we have Final Sacrifice that I'm reading right now. And yeah, and here you've got the Prodigal Sorcerer. So I've, got, I've read this one, this one, and now I'm reading this one. I've also read Arena, which is the first magic novel, which is really a good book as well. I would definitely read it. Read it. Um, and then you also have The Brothers War, which is probably the best out of all of them, especially if you're into magic and the magic lore. But look look at the state of my books. Look at the state of the beautiful book you just sent. Thank you so much, Peter. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm not sure what, I, what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'm, gonna, uh, maybe I'm going to give it away to one of my patrons. But I'll, I'll have to think about it. Um, okay, so here we have the other envelope. And this one has... Um, the reconstruction in it, right, to, for my global set. Let's hope it's better centered than the one you're seeing over there. We'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see. Okay, okay. Man, those bubble envelopes are getting better. Okay, there we go. Look, a lot of cards here, a lot of cards. And this is just a lot of, like more affordable stuff, but I also love that. I like foreign cards. I think actually there's some fourth edition in here because, um, you know, I had that trade recently for fourth edition. So I'm really into trying to get that times four now. Uh, let's just go through it. Okay. So yeah, whatever. Um, Fountain of Youth. Yeah. This is actually a card I ordered for a four horseman pauper uh, tournament that we're going to do on Timmy Talks. So Fountain of Youth, zero to pay for an artifact, two and tap, gain one life. This is also in the lore of the dark, by the way. And then we have Volcanic Eruption. So this is a card that I got for my uh, fourth edition project. We've got a Dragon Engine. We've got a Thought Lace. Just love the art with that eye, it's so cool. We've got a Dingus Egg. We've got a Gloom. We've got a Gloom. Simulacrum. Ivory Cup, Detonate, Wall of Swords, Sarah Angel, another Sarah, I did just love the art of Sarah Angel, by the way. It's so epic. Amazing work by Douglas Schuler. Amazing work. We've got the Obsanius Golem with the coolest flavor text. The foot stone is connected to the ankle stone. The ankle stone is connected to the leg stone. It's such a nice song. Four, six, 60 cast. Very hard to kill people. Then we've got Siren Skull. So these are all like purchases for my fourth edition collection. Really good condition, by the way, these cards. Very, very nice. This is a gloom. Gloom, of course, a very playable sideboard card. And these are all fourth edition cards. Flash Fires. You've seen me cast some Flash Fires recently in a game against an Elephant deck. Kind of felt guilty about that, but not guilty, if you know what I mean. It's just, it's really fun to use a card like Flash Fires. Doesn't see that much play in the sideboards. And we've got the day. Oh, actually, wow. We don't have the reconstruction. I thought I ordered a reconstruction. I guess I guess it's still on, on its way. So I think my main purchase for this was the Fountain of Youth. 
Um, and these cards are actually going up in price. I was surprised. This is now like two or three euros to get a Fountain of Youth in this condition. Um, I do like it. I think it's a really cool card. I think it's playable in specific formats. You know, when there's a standstill, you can slowly tick up. If you also have a sack outlet uh, for your Fountain of Youth, it can be pretty useful. And like I said, it's, it's really cool art. So I think I'll, I'll use this as the thumbnail for the video. For now, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.